Hey guys, some places you can say these words, other places you're told you should never use the word. And I'll just use them all. Lady boys, she male, tranny, he she, bakla, bio, transsexual, she he, shem, man in a dress, man dressed as a woman, man who is feminine and acts like a woman, chick with a dick, boys with boobs, and it really doesn't matter because I'm talking about the lady who's here. I am highly attracted to Asian women and I guess even more attracted to Asian men that dress like women, look like women, act like women, and for all practical purposes is the woman. If you're a man and you go to bed with someone and there's no vagina there, well, then there's no woman there. If you're gonna date anyone that has the same genitals that you do, well, that's a no-brainer. I mean, if there's two dicks in the bed, you figure it out. No vagina necessary. Hey, that's kind of a gay situation. I'm just saying. But I am attracted to those Asian lady boys that look, dress, and act like women. Now, I know some of you are gonna say, it's not a woman, okay? Well, I could say that my hamburger is not rice. I get it. I get it. You could say, now I wouldn't be attracted to anyone that looked like me or anyone that looks like the traditional man. I don't feel a thing. But when that man turns as sweet as a bag of sugar and looks like a woman and carries on like one, everything changes at that point. And when they've had a life, as many have in the Philippines from being a child growing up and dressing and behaving as a woman and become older and they've stuck with it, that is a testament to strength, inner strength, outer strength, and believing in yourself to a degree that is also a turn off. Okay guys, so here are five things that turn me on about lady boys. Number one, my attraction to their feminine expression. The feminine appearance and behavior is a turn on. Now, I'm not attracted to men looking like men. I've never dated anyone who looks like me or what a man normally looks like. I've always had a thing for the most sissy feminine guy in the room. The one that is feminine and is not gonna change any more than that cat's gonna change into a dog. If dude looks like a lady boy and is attractive, count me in. Number two, my admiration and respect for resilience. The resilience to be different and live their life as they are. I come from some of the most resilient people in the United States, and you get plenty of that resilient energy in the Philippines. The lady boys are everywhere, and they've had a centuries long presence in their communities long before colonization. The third thing that turns me on is the lady boys' disposition. Filipino women are so sweet, but can be bossy. A Filipino lady boy can be just as bossy while being feminine, cute, and aggressive when necessary. It turns me on that they will fight for their place, much like I've handled. They are soft, but they're not wimps and they're not weak. Remember that. The number four thing that turns me on, these people from Southeast Asia have some very specific physical, uh, let's say, predispositions that allow a lot of people to easily change their gender. Small stature, teeth, slim, thick. It's a big turn on. Number five. The final thing that turns me on is the openness to date outsiders and are so much more agreeable than the transgenders where I come from. That willingness to date someone from a different culture is a benefit to both of us. I'm a musician. I love 
fitting in, and I love having my own jam. I love to play with the band, and I love when I get my solo, and it's all about me. So, in the realm of attraction, it's crucial to treat others with that respect, an open mind, and an appreciation for their individuality. Love should always be guided by kindness and empathy. Hey, you guys, do me a favor. Hit the like and share and subscribe button. It won't cost you a thing. I greatly appreciate it. Poor man's passport guide out.